talking about? Practice. We're not talking about the games we live and die for, man. We're talking about practice. Talk about practice. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hell If I Know podcast, episode two. <laughs> we finally have a name. It only took a week. It only took a week. <laughs> and talking with an art major, but we've made our decision now. Art major. Oh, uh, about, the, yeah, about the graphics. He's not an art major anymore. What is he now? Fucking business. Fucking loser. <laughs> quitter. Fucking quitter. Quit the dream. <laughs> he quit the dream, boys. <laughs> but going back to talking about games we live and die for. Tonight's topic. Our top five games of all time. Of all time. And admitting that we're only 20 years old, so we're going to miss some decades in there. But this is just for us personally. Maybe you'll get to know us a little better. Maybe you can argue it out in the comments like everybody else does. But yeah, speaking of top five games, how about, how about, uh, well, before we get into top five games, we're, let's, let's touch on something that was, uh, kind of big last week. Uh, a little bit more news on Fallout 76 has been released. The, Don't uh, do it, the fat system will be in the game. Uh, it will be real time. So that'll be cool. Um, it would be it's... interesting if they could do it like Max Payne did it. Max Payne 3 had it. If I remember correctly, I never played Max Payne 3. I watched other people play Max Payne 3. Yeah. Um, they had bullet time in multiplayer. It just stayed. They managed to do it to where it was slow-mo for the two people in the, the area of it. Or like for the people in the area of it. But I guess mm-hmm. in that situation, you wouldn't want it to be because you'd have four on four or five on five. You wouldn't want eight people in slow-mo at the same time. That's going to get out of hand. Yeah. So I could see where <laughs> real time, and in real time, it's not going to be hard. You're probably going to use it like you would have in New Vegas or in Four. It's usually how you start an engagement. It's not how you finish an engagement. It's how you yeah. get sneak attack kills and stuff like that. So, yep, which is cool. Uh, also, special is back. Strength, perception, all that shit. Wasn't that uh, in that's com- Fallout Four? Yeah, it was in Fallout Four. I say, I say it's back. It, it's not leaving. Um, it's just going to be a little bit different. Well, yeah, it's going to be the fear would be in the ideas of like um, a multiplayer game is how much will change overall. But yeah, yeah, I don't think it's good to see that a lot of the core things we like are staying. Yep. Which, um, yeah, the special it's it's now based on cards. You'll get three. There's three major uh, perks with each uh, stat. Um, and you'll you'll level your stats as you go, but you as you as you level up, you get to pick different perk cards, and uh, no limit on how what perk cards. But I think they're making it more towards where um, you have a specific class in a on a team or something like that. But yeah, so no, there's not going to be a bunch of god characters wandering around the Virginia, the West Virginia wasteland. That's that's really good that's, for the. That's my biggest fear is balance. Is the yeah. idea of, and I mean, I'm not saying like if you loot better than everybody else or you loot more often, I think you should have better weapons. But it's the idea that one person doesn't just become like God on a map where no one else can build or like he just becomes like a schoolyard bully at that point. <laughs> the, raid boss. Kind of, the raid Gotta boss. Gotta kill the raid right? boss. Fucking turns into Ragnaros on a fucking lane. Swag but Daddy XX. Swag Daddy <laughs> <The raid> XX. <laughs> that was, that's that? one of the funniest posts you've ever sent to me was yeah. first it was like, the lo- what is it the lone wanderer and then it was the courier and then the lone the soul survivor and now it's swag daddy 69 swag or daddy 69 yep. <laughs> i was like that's yeah that's and exactly. p garvey who got fucked up p garvey again best joke aside from it fucking glows in the dark <laughs> glows in the dark he todd howard did an interview a couple it was either yesterday or the day before he had made us people are worried that if you played single player you were going to get fucked like mm-hmm. it would be impossible for you to enjoy the game and he did an interview where he dispelled a lot of that and said, it's not at all going to be like that. Like you can easily survive and have fun single player, but it is the idea that we want to build a community and stuff like that. And I like that because we always talk about playing like you and I have done things where we play fallout at the same time, but now we can literally play fallout at the same time. At the same time with each other. Yeah. So like, (laughs) well, that'll, that's, uh, that's pretty much all the news we've heard or that I've heard anyways. Um, about 76 being added no no other news on where the new elder scrolls will be 
Uh, I've I seen a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people say it's Hammerfell. A lot of people say it's Hammerfell. I've seen a lot of people say it's not gonna be Hammerfell actually. Well, so it's, yeah, I, we we don't know where it's gonna. We be. don't know where it's gonna be. That's the biggest thing to remember here. We don't know where it's gonna be. Fuck, we can go back to Cyrodiil for all I know, man. That's always the funniest thing to me is just people losing their shit about like. Again, the people who are like Fallout, you know, Fallout already got a game, you know, they don't deserve another game. It's like, well, you know, Fallout fans <laughs> might disagree with you because arguably. When you got online, we got fucking Fallout Shelter, so, like... Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Well, enough about news. We're going to jump right. into the top five Back games now. Back into the now. meat here. Do you want to go first, or do we want to alternate? Uh, I think we can alternate. Um, All right, we'll alternate. Do you want to do, do, you want to do honorable, honorable mentions first, or do you want to just jump straight into it? Uh, We'll do honorable mentions before we do our number ones. All right, sounds good. If that works for you. All right, so if you want to do your number five first, I'll do my number five after. My uh, my number five would be the Animal Crossing series. I can just be... yeah, we'll allow a full series. I think. Yeah, uh, that's actually the majority of my list is actually just series and franchises. I get, that. I get that. But uh, yeah, the Animal Crossing series it was it was always fun to. I was specific, but I... I'm an anal retentive asshole, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, especially with um the fuck oh never mind los angeles is occupied over there uh with um <clears throat> with the animal crossing be, uh, especially new leaf being able to take control of the entire town i think that was a great addition uh taking over the town and building stuff with stiff different uh civil projects was really fun and enjoyable i liked uh stealing people's apples in new leaf like if you didn't have a fruit you could go to your friend's town and get it or you could trade <laughs> fruit, or you could do what you and a friend of ours did to me which is came over and visited and took all of my unique fruit and then shut off your train station. So I couldn't come to yours. <laughs> I thought we did that too, Gus. I didn't think we, Oh, we did. You're right. You're right. We did that to him. We did that to him. Either way. Still funny as shit. It's still funny. I like that. You could just go like full terrorist alert and like shut your train stations off and not allow them to run. Yep. <laughs> All right. I guess it's my turn. My number yeah. five was actually a more, not a more recent game, but probably a, a, I don't know if it's a bigger game. Minecraft was my number five. Minecraft made my list. Um, I'll admit that the first time I ever played Minecraft was on the 360. I think it was both of our first times playing Minecraft. Um, uh, it's my second time. Your second time? Okay. I did play on the PC a little bit before that. Well, I played on Will's Mac, but that doesn't count because it's a Mac. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a Mac. But we, uh, I thought Minecraft was great. Minecraft is one of those games that you can play it. It's the creative mode was really where I enjoyed, but I really enjoyed building kind of big buildings and stuff like that. It was fun to explore. It was fun to get to the end. It was the DLC, not DLC, but uh, mods was always fun. Skins packs. I thought Minecraft was one of the best community driven games where, you know, Mojang was like, here's this game. And then the entire community was like, well, here's these 50,000 other games we've made with it. So (laughs) Minecraft is arguably one of the biggest game series of all time. If you just look at the mini games people made in it. So, yep. Minecraft was my number five for that reason. Arguably, what started the, uh, I won't say arguably, but some people would argue that it's what started the Battle Royale games. Oh, yeah, because people did Battle Royale style stuff. Yep. Well, my number four uh, it would actually be the game or the game series we're playing right now, Civilization series. Uh, I've always enjoyed the whole grand strategy and, uh, I'm amazed being able I... to pick. I didn't pick right. a strategy game for my list. Really? Didn't pick a one. Nope. That actually surprises me. It surprises me because how much I played Age of Empires. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I always, I always enjoyed the grand strategy games or just the strategy games in general. Being able to control units over a large scale uh, with the watching over the map uh, was really enjoyable. And you know, taking certain uh, historical figures throughout time you know like trajan peter the second teddy roosevelt the homie the homie yeah the homie <laughs> yeah so civilization series civilization civilization six civilization is a big series because people forget it was a board game like yeah, it was a board game it's on mobile it's on xbox it's it's a huge i've never played it, it on mobile yeah, um, but it's I, probably it's probably a franchise by now instead of a series. <laughs> I know uh, Tropico has uh, Tropico has mobile, but I didn't. I don't know if 
I've never played the Civ version. Yeah. On mobile. Uh, it, 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 it costs money, so it's like, I think it's like 12 bucks. To That's buy my thing. I just refuse to pay money on mobile games. Yeah. And it's nothing against them. Like, I understand they're trying to make a living, and I understand that some of those games deserve that money. It's just I spend a shit ton of money on computer games and stuff like that. I don't want to make that funding travel over to fucking mobile. Yeah. <laughs> Um, shit. My number four. My number four is a game on Game Boy Advance. Damn. Fucking, uh, Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island. I never played Yoshi's Island, actually. I beat it six times. Um, I'm gonna get massacred in the comments now. You never played Yoshi's Island? No, because, no, I mean, it wasn't like a Mario game. But yeah. it was one of the first games I ever got for a mobile console. I had a Game Boy Advance and then I had a Game Boy Advance SP. And, uh, by the way, SP, top 10 mobile consoles of all time. Um, the worst thing ever, though, was that the only thing that made the SP better than the normal Game Boy Advance was that it had a backlit screen. It no longer so, required... Side note, those, those things were fragile as shit. Oh, yeah, no, like, if they didn't open all the way to be flat. Like, they only opened to, like, probably... I don't want. I don't know how open that would be. If it's 180, probably like they probably open to like 120 degrees. But mm -hmm. if you push them any farther than that, the screen would disconnect and you were done. It was the end of the line. Yeah. Um, my first one snapped in half. <laughs> my brother had a black one and I had a red one. And then uh, all Nintendo products I had after that were red. I always except the Wii, but the Wii doesn't count. It only came in white. Well, it didn't. Just, but, spray, just spray paint it red. Just okay. spray paint it red. <laughs> that would be the weirdest thing somebody done to a Wii. Let's be honest here. True, there's yeah, probably I, somebody out there that's fucked it. I can't tell you how many camping trip runs, grocery store runs, and all that shit I did to beat, like, all the worlds in Yoshi's Island. I think there was seven worlds yeah. you had to beat, and they had, like, eight cha No, there were eight worlds, and they had eight chapters each, so you had to do it... Eight times eight? Sixty-four times, so... Damn. Um, Well, not sixty-four times, but you had to, there were sixty-four levels to beat. And they were... You had, like, baby Mario on your back... And because what's the witch's name that rides the broom that looks like a duck? Fuck if I know, dude. <laughs> There's some I'm, like I'm... witch that rides a broom that looks kind of like a duck. I know who you're talking about. She like has baby Mario and she crash lands on Yoshi's Island. And the Yoshis are like, this is a baby human. We have to take the baby human back to the other baby humans. And they like agree to like take it. So the Yoshis baby like all the Yoshis have different abilities. Like green yeah. Yoshis obviously just got the egg splat thing. But, like, Purple Yoshi can swim, I think. Stuff like that. So, I liked it. That was my foray into the Mar Mario world. That and Mario Kart were my two things. Yep. I guess going on to number three, then. Uh, I picked another series, mainly because I couldn't pick just one. There, there were so many good ones. Uh, the Pokemon series. That was... I mean, I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the amount of The amount of hours that... Uh, I've put into pretty much every Pokemon game. It's a, probably a ridiculous amount of time right now. Probably more than the amount of time I put in Skyrim. Which is saying something, because... Which is saying something. Because <laughs> you put a shit ton of time into fucking... Yes, I did. I've perfected Skyrim. On, we'll get back into Skyrim later, but yeah. We'll get back into Skyrim later. <laughs> I've thought about... I seriously am thinking about getting it for the Switch just to have it with me. Because yeah. it's such a fun game. Like, it's a fun game, even if you don't beat it. Like, I never... I beat it once. I think I beat the Imperial ending. Mm -hmm. But it's just a... It's a really fun game just to have. Yep. And to play through. I gotta claim a great person. And then I'll do my number three. Well, I mean, if, going to the Pokemon series, if I had to pick uh, top two Pokemon games, uh, Diamond and Pearl and Heart of Gold, Soul Silver. Probably the best ones. Sorry to all the newbies out there that love X and Y. Go fuck yourself. And Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, shit. X and Y were in the comments. X and Y weren't bad, though. No, they weren't. They, they, I, I did they like used the, the 3DS to its full ability. Yeah. Which was new to and the, the 3DS. And they implemented a lot of the old Pokemon, too, which was nice. Yeah. Um, shit, I guess my number three now. Yo, number three. Uh, number three for me is actually number three in a series, or it's got three in the name. Um, Fallout 3 was my number three game of all time. Ooh, I was going to say Halo 3. <laughs> Halo makes the list, but it's not three. Um, gotcha. But Fallout 3, definitely for me. I know, like, obviously you're a New Vegas fan. Um, yeah. I loved how... This is going to sound weird, because I know some people thought it was too long. 
And I might be, maybe I'm totally wrong, but I felt like some people thought it was too Fucking long. just at me next time. Fallout 3, I loved how long the story was, and I loved how in, like, I loved how in-depth it got, and how you didn't have to be someone to find your dad. Like, you could show up and be an evil prick, and your dad would be like, I understand what you had to do. Like, but I also, like, I like that your dad was portrayed as kind of an asshole, because your dad was kind of an asshole. Like... <laughs> I mean, he was like, he just left. And I guess I get why, but at the same token, it's like, didn't make any fucking sense. Take me with you, Dad, please. But, yeah, that was my definite. Number three. That's definite number three. Well, my number two, I guess, since we're going to go on to that now, um, is uh, Fallout New Vegas. I put New Vegas over four here. Um. New Vegas, I'm looking at the stats right now. For the for fucking Steam, I have 120 hours on New Vegas alone. That's not counting the Xbox Box time, version. which is probably something like 500 by now. I'm playing through it again on both versions, both of them, the Caesar Legion ending, which was, my, in my opinion, which was the most fun. Um, I, like, yeah, I liked how... The Yes Man ending is hilarious. Just the Yes Man ending Just how hilarious. Yes Man talks... It's hilarious. Like, you can put all those guys on there, and they can come up and kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah, uh, I I love the fact that you could actually take over the fate of the entire Las Vegas Strip. So, um, that was really cool. Whether you made it, you know, a peace loving, quote unquote, peace loving with the NCR or anarchy with. Caesar's Legion, or you know, go with Mr. House, or even say fuck Mr. House and just take it over for yourself. I like the options you had in New Vegas as opposed to three and four. Just didn't feel rushed enough. So well, I liked. I guess I know some people really like faction endings. I didn't mind that there was no factions. I like that you had you had reputation in Fallout Three. Like you could get to a point that like Brotherhood of Steel would attack you on sight, but mm -hmm. it wasn't like you were joining them. You know what I mean? Like with the NCR or with Caesar's Legion. There was no yeah. level of commitment. There was just the acceptance that we all live alone out here, and it's okay if you don't join anybody. Yeah. Um. So that was your number three. Two. Number two. Ooh, coming up on honorable mentions after this. Um, oh shit. My number two was a game that you and I played a fuck ton of together in high school, and that is Halo Reach. Halo doesn't Reach. cover any of the Master Chief story, and I get why that's maybe against the rule of law and good things in this world. But I thought Reach was one of the best games I ever played on 360. Dude, the Forge was better than anything else. The multiplayer felt better than anything else. Cause, I mean, I played threes, I played fours, and I played fives multiplayer. And Reach was just better than everybody else's. I like the story in Halo 4. I like the campaign in Halo 4, but I liked... Yeah the just the out and out not the, the a big thing i liked about reach was i think it perfected the firefight mode mm -hmm. firefight was hilarious on your own it was fun with friends especially with the grunt birthday party and the other challenges you could put up like yeah. import grunt birthday party noise here yeah. <laughs> and only if you popped a headshot you couldn't just get it you had to pop a headshot yeah I had to pop a headshot yeah halo reach we played a fuck ton. That's where uh, that's where Disneyland came in. Oh, yeah, Disneyland. Um, the Banshee Shredder maps were always fun. Banshee Shredder maps. Um, uh, just keep driving was one just we played. Keep, a that lot. was that was one I was thinking. We of played that driving. a lot. Um, not this that is how you kill an idiot on mongoose. Fucking Speed Halo. Speed Halo was terrible. Speed Halo was fucking. The teleporters, I don't think anybody understood how good the teleporters were when you got to certain speeds. Like, how funny yeah. they could be. <laughs> but, definitely, um, definitely my number two. Yep. So, uh, when we get into honorable mentions, do you want it to be, well, how many do you have? I've got two that I want to say, but one All that right. I really think I'm, like, required to say. Alright, we'll do, we'll do three then, so. Three honorable mentions? Uh, yeah. Okay. My uh, my first honorable mention. Have you said is your number two Halo. yet? Did you say your number I two? I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was New Vegas. Oh yeah. 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 Um, my first honorable mention uh, gonna be the Halo franchise. 
uh, preferably uh, reach, but uh, if I had to go with a different one, I'd pick four. Yeah. Good choice, good choice. My first honorable mention has got to be... Ooh, I don't want to, like, sting anybody, which nobody cares, but <laughs> I care in the back of my mind. Um, Th They're all honorable mention. They didn't make the list. It's all going to sting, man. Probably the first Black Ops. I thought the first Black Ops was a really good game. Yeah. Genuinely a really solid game. Probably the second best Call of Duty game. Behind Modern Warfare 2. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Fight me, bitches. <laughs> My uh my second honorable mention um would go to Pikmin One. I played the fuck out of Pikmin One on the original GameCube. Pikmin One. I think I, that's a good. I play. think I beat it like seven times or something like that. Some ridiculous amount. <clears throat> um, trying to think now. What I uh. Hmm. Next honorable mention, what should it be? It's a game I played a lot. Oh, dude, Philadelphia Falls, the Cult of Wapla. The Cult of Wapla. <laughs> um, I would honestly, and I know this is going to sound kind of asshole because of how new it is. No, I won't put that game. Never mind. You were going to say Raft, weren't you? Yeah, but I'm just still like in the drunken newlywed stage of liking Raft. Um I did yeah. Fallout 4. <laughs> I'd put Fallout 4 as an honorable mention. It wasn't gotcha. good enough for me to and I didn't play it. It didn't have enough playability for me to put it in my top 5 all time. But mm -hmm. it's a game I would go back to if I could again and again. So Yep. Uh my last honorable mention um would be Banished. Uh I'm not sure how many people have heard of Banished. It's a small indie game. Uh, it's basically a town simulator. You build your own town. You have fun. They can die. Nomads players. come bring diseases. Shit happens. That's the worst part is when a nomad comes in and you're like, he's got like the pox or something. He's got pox or other shit. Yeah. Trying to think of a okay, my last one, I guess. My last honorable mention will probably be or will be Ooh. I think Rocket League. I think Rocket, Rocket League. Rocket League. I think Rocket League is one of those games that they made a game that worked. It it's simple, it works, and it's really entertaining. If you like just normal sports, if you like, you know if you like esports, it's perfect for that whole crossover idea. And mm -hmm. I think that's what makes me like it the most. Yeah. Well, we've played a lot of Rocket League, too. I've played... I'm actually going to bring it up right now. I just want to see how much I've played of it. I've played... 225 hours of Rocket League. I've only played 65. Holy shit, you're kicking my ass. Yeah. To be fair, you had the game before I did, too. So I think I'm the one that talked... Other people in the friend group into getting it. Probably. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's a whole thing, but. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I guess we're gonna get to the numero uno. You wanna go first or do you want me to? Uh, let's play rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay. <laughs> that's a smart ass. There's a way you uh, could, I think you could do it. I think it just wouldn't be. What we could do it. I'll go first. Hey, but... I'm being in, stoke upon Trent's being invaded. Um, get fucked. By fucking Pedro. Pedro! Vote for Pedro. Vote for me. Vote for Pedro. But, uh, yeah, my number one, I said we'd get back to it, um, Skyrim. I've wasted so much of my life playing that fucking game, dude. Going on to the Steam, uh, I've have a collected 300 hours on Steam and probably the collective 500 on Xbox. Um, <clears throat> you 100%ed it, it on both, didn't you? I've 100%ed it on both. I've 100%ed it on. Um, yeah, I did it on my uh, cousin's PS4 when we were down <laughs> in a fucking family vacation. 
I'm gonna so lose yeah, I I've, I've played so much of that game. Uh, Love the mods for it. That made it. It made it to where you could almost never put it down because there was so much new shit that you could put into the game. But uh, yeah, Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim number one. Skyrim's a good choice. Good choice. And uh, if for those out there that said Morrowind and Oblivion are better, you're probably right. I just never played those two. So you had your choice come at, made. Come at me sideways. I don't. I think they had different things to offer. <laughs> um. All right. My number one is an old game, like 2000, I think, or night. It was either 2000 or 2001. Can I take a guess? What is it? Medal of Honor. Yes, but I bet you can't guess a specific title. I can't guess a specific title. <laughs> My number one game of all time is Medal of Honor Frontline. Um, it was the first FPS shooter I ever played. It was... Um, I think it had some of the best uh, straight up just level design of any game. Mm-hmm. Um, it it made itself work. It wasn't like, you know, it didn't try to do multiplayer, which it didn't really need to because it was 2000 and nobody gave a shit about multiplayer in FPS, yeah, except for definitely. Doom. But Split, split screen was the only way you could do fucking It had a long campaign that was enjoyable. It was based around James Patterson, not the uh, author, but um, <laughs> the fucking... Uh, I'm trying to fucking think. Um, World War II, he's a World War II spy works for the OSS you land at Normandy and then you have to take over a U-boat and then you're part of Operation Market Garden and then you're like saving British soldiers who were like taken over in Arnhem during the end of Market Garden and all this other shit and it's just I probably played that game 20 times and I still know the invincibility cheat code and the unlimited ammo cheat codes um <laughs> to this day on a ps2 controller so that's probably pretty sad to say out loud um <laughs> so yeah that was um that is my number one game of all time is medal of honor frontline for the ps2 sorry to all the people out there that thought fortnite was gonna be on the list but uh we're not fuck boys so sorry to disappoint I would give PUBG an honorable mention for what it's doing, but I wouldn't say either of them are top game material. No. <clears throat> and also the fact that either of them consider themselves esports ready is hilarious to me. Um, uh, I would they're say not... Fortnite's probably more esport ready than Battlegrounds, though. Well, Battlegrounds... <clears throat> I like Battlegrounds for the randomness of it. Mm -hmm. Fortnite's just weird to me like on how it works overall. We're gonna get so shit on. <laughs> they don't like Fortnite or Battlegrounds. Well, no, like, did you see? Okay, so Legion, <laughs> somebody who everybody here should watch on YouTube because he's hilarious. Legion Queen. Legion Quan. Um. Legion Quan. Legion Quan. All right. <clears throat> but he was talking about like what it's like on the Nintendo Switch, and it's like fucking unlimited ammo with a minigun versus unlimited building materials, and he's just bu the other guy he's shooting at is just building wall, building wall, building wall. And he finally baits him in. But it was like, holy shit, dude. Like, the, the, just shooting the walls down was like 20 minutes. <laughs> it was so stupid. Like. Yep. I just lost Stoke upon Trent. <sighs> Is it Stoke or Stroke? Stoke. Damn. But yeah, that's our top five games each of all time. Um, not quite as fast paced as last episode, but unfortunately E3 is over, so we're all a little bit game drunk on all that shit so we uh we didn't cover the rest of e3 but oh well well we weren't, weren't that really interested in it so true we're really going to talk about things on this game we're interested on this show we're interested in so sorry <laughs> for being selfish but that's we didn't come here to be real news um or fake news we just came here to talk about games so you know if somebody in the comments is like yo talk about this we might do it we yeah might, we're, we're, if there's a topic we're, you want us, soul. if you talk if there's a topic you want us to cover throw it out there but um overall we just have our own opinions on things and we're gonna say them and it's mostly gaming because duh um that's Cause we won't get into the other shit we won't get into the other shit and also our work is not interesting enough to talk about so 
No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed well, this episode. I think we've been on about our usual time. Yep. Usual. Um, it's the second episode, but it's usual. second episode. Well, no, but we already <laughs> said we didn't want this to be like a two-hour podcast. True. So these are just hot, fast little podcasts you can watch at lunch or something. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sure Mac hopes you enjoyed this episode as well. No. No. Mac says fuck you. Um... <laughs> I hope you guys come back next time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go follow us on Twitter. I'm going to make sure to have that linked this week. I didn't have it linked last week because we didn't have one. Um, (laughs) Don't tell them that. And we'll make sure to have that all linked down in the description below. And as always, stay awesome. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.